everyone. We got a little bit of a treat today. A uh, very interesting ride. We're in a 1969 Toyota Corona. The car has had a heart transplant. It's currently got a 1985 4AG in this, uh, which is really cool. This car has a lot of characteristics, being that it's uh, it's an older car. It's had an engine swap with, uh, with a 4AG. Five-speed manual. And uh, so far, this thing is great fun. Listen, the car's not perfect by today's standards. The brakes are awful. Uh, everything is super loosey-goosey. However, I don't really care about any of that right now. This car is a perfect Sunday cruiser. You can really take your time with this and just being able to sit in a car this old uh, be able to drive it every day is pretty special you don't see too many of these around especially ones that have had an engine swap makes for some pretty fun driving now obviously the 4ag is a very high revving engine uh, and it's probably one of the most popular uh, jdm engines uh, for a while now it's an interesting package because of a couple of reasons. Listen, this car's really old. The drive line can't necessarily handle the 4AG. So, although I really want to absolutely rev its guts off, um, I can't. This is the sacrifice you need to make when you have a little bit of a unique setup like this. Uh, but the fact that it's five-speed manual is so awesome. It just makes the car so much more enjoyable to drive. Um, I am a bit of a manual fanboy, so I can really appreciate this car being a five-speed manual. This isn't the sort of car you would probably take on hills runs. It's not applicable for that. This is really good from, uh, from a cruising perspective, you know, kind of A to B, if you're using it a few times a week, but especially as a uh, as a Sunday cruiser, this car turns a lot of heads. Listen, the car is not perfect. There's heaps of play in the steering wheel. When you've got a brake, you've got to push the brake pedal all the way down, but these are things that are slowly starting to be looked at and developed as, as the owner um, pushes the car to be a little bit more sustainable in the long run. We could probably do a comparison video sometime in the near future when this car has gone through some upgrades and has had <laughs> and has had a few um you know a few changes uh it definitely needs a tune it just needs a couple of little bits and bobs when you have a car like this those those things don't really matter but as you can see from the interior it's pretty neat and i just i love how boxy it is it's just for a car that's actually quite small with there's a fair bit of room um, especially for me so whenever I do these reviews I need to note a couple of things you know the car is old is it's done about a hundred thousand uh, which isn't that much for a for a car this old but the the kilometers on this 4AG is unknown uh, but generally speaking the 4AGs can last a very very long time it's been reliable for the owner and just cruising it around now in the back streets it feels pretty good the 4AGs are pretty reliable engines in general so listen I wouldn't be too um, too surprised if this engine is probably clocked up around about 200 220 thousand kilometers it, it kind of feels like it but I might be wrong you know because it's in a different car different setup it's, sometimes it's hard to tell but whatever doesn't matter <laughs> definitely turns heads it's so cool it's got the mirrors on the front you know you don't see that a lot these days so much street cred and the good thing about the 4ag is that you know even at the best of times it doesn't use a lot of fuel and you can run it on 91 it's not really an expensive engine to run um, and being that it's pretty reliable you're not going to have to do too much to it just keep the oil change intervals close together and yeah you really can't go wrong one thing i always need to consider are the um tires of the car it's just got a set of um super cats and super cat are kind of just your entry level all-round tyre. It's a half-decent street tyre, 
for this type of setup where you know you're not going to be pushing the car you're just going to be cruising it so tire choice for this is is pretty good considering and just cruising it now fifth gear sitting at about 55 k's an hour it's got a really nice kind of low drone to it but it's not too loud it's the type of uh drone that you could easily put up with from day to day driving it's almost like a, a, a running joke you know it's just the more you're kind of driving it around the funnier it gets and and that's no disrespect I, I genuinely enjoy the feeling this car's giving me right now um because it's not perfect it's uh it's really wobbly everything's really loose oh you gotta really press down on the brakes so if you were to have to break this thing in a hurry wouldn't go down too well but that's why it's a cruiser it allows you uh it allows you some room for error so to speak when driving and the fact that it's got the bench seats i'm sold that's it that's all you need you just need some bench seats uh so this is a great car if you uh are with someone you love the bench seats definitely come in handy uh, but listen, they are pretty cool and you can easily fit two adults side by side. You can fit a couple of, of, of adults in the back to go on a Sunday cruise. So yeah, really cool. Loving it. One thing I like about this car guys is you can see everything. It just, it, it brings the outside in, which is so cool because a lot of the new cars these days, and you know, I can appreciate this because of the improved safety. They have these huge pillars and it's just so hard to see out sometimes. But with this, it's like you're driving a fishbowl. This is as good as a sunroof. Like seriously, you can see everything. The car's nice and bright. It's not dark and gloomy. I mean, it's not the best color. It's kind of a very boring brown. You know, that kind of ugly late 60s, early 70s brown. You know, it's 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 not nice, but this type of car and this type of setup, it's not really about the color. It's about how it makes you feel. <laughs> What's that over there? Ferrari? Probably go catch him. So guys, I'm gonna uh, get some footage of the outside of the car. I'm hoping to just give you an idea on what the car looks like, how it handles, uh, what it sounds like, so I'll tee some of that up now. Listen, it's not perfect, but all up, it presents okay. Usual rust, but there's nothing that's going to compromise any body structure. And she sounds all right as well. And you just can't deny that <laughs> cars like this, they just look great. Seriously. The mirror's on the bonnet. That's what sells it for me. It's so cool. You don't see it too often. Anyway. Uh, go for another drive. on it at the end of the day this is not a good daily uh, just listen it needs a little bit of work 
to become a little bit more reliable and more comfortable to use daily. However, uh, using this thing a couple of times a week, go on a cheeky uh, cafe run or a Sunday cruiser, this thing is perfect. Uh, it turns a lot of heads, it's got a lot of character, it's fun to drive, it's cool, and I think with a little bit more time, the owner's going to take care of those little things and this will eventually become a car that you can easily drive every day. But generally, as you're cruising it, it's nice and soft, it's comfortable. I just love how tiny the steering wheel is. It's just paper thin, uh, which is something that I haven't experienced in a while. But at the end of the day, it's, it's how the car makes you feel. And listen, today's... 33 34 degrees it's a bit warm and this car's fine like it is pretty comfortable you know no air conditioning no power steering but i mean what do you expect uh if if you were to be upset about that then you're driving the car for the wrong reasons you know uh and i keep referring back to character you know the fact that it's got no power steering the brakes are awful if you are driving this thing day to day in kind of very busy areas busy traffic i wouldn't feel comfortable i would kind of feel nervous and that's not what these cars are about you need to enjoy it uh give yourself plenty of space plenty of time take it out on days that aren't too busy you know drive it on some roads that are not busy or not too crowded and generally you're going to have a pretty good time in this thing i just love how long it takes to change gears. It's just from every single gear you need to shift a whole arm length just to get just to get a gear. I could only assume that there isn't too many of these setups, you know, particularly a, a Toyota Corona with a 4AG in it. So I guess it kind of makes it unique uh, in a sense. And it's amazing how cars can change your behavior. I think in general, we're all so used to having to get from one place to the other really quickly. And that's pretty stressful. Uh, you know, driving should be relaxing. Uh, you know, taking time out of your day. No one's bothering you. You're away from your annoying family. It's amazing how this car slows you down mentally. You know, it, it's, it, the frame, it gives you a frame of mind to slow down, relax, take things slow. And I think that's a really special thing to be able to have today because we are all in such a huge rush to get from one place to the other. This car gives you the excuse to take it slow. And if someone has a problem with that, then too bad. I'm liking it. So once again, guys, it's been the uh, 1969 Toyota Corona with a 4AG. So I guess it's very old meets old. I wouldn't call the engine upgrade a modern one, but I think with the right time and right additions, this car can definitely be bought into the modern era. Once again, everyone, thank you for watching. I'm really happy I got to share this car with you. It's something that um, you don't see a lot of. A big thank you to the owner who's given me the chance to drive it today. That's what you do with this car, you drive it. A lot of cars these days is, uh, they drive you. Uh, but this, you get to actually drive it and experience every little bit of this car. And that's why I'm liking it so much. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks again. Take care. I'm going to wrap it up. It's too hot. Whoop. I'll do a little second gear pull. Oh, hey you. Let's really drive through the gears. <laughs> oh, it's great. That's awesome.